So in the top right in the blue, playing for ball nexus of reality, playing seraphim, and in the bottom left, seraphim for ball oxide ion. Both these players qualified already, so they're just playing for the crack. Both going first land, getting double adjacency and hydro adjacency on their first land factory. So, uh, when you do that, I think people usually forget to stop making NGs out of this factory. And they'll use some other factory to upgrade to T2, for example. <coughs> And really, you should uh, use this factory to go T2 and uh, just build another factory to spam NGs out of. So, some reclaim here on this map. These are like the the ditch style rocks, I think. Or is it the ditch or the other one? Not sure. I think it's the ditch. So, tons of mass in those rocks. And third air from Oxide. Third air already finished for Nexus, so that's already you can see Nexus has a BO advantage. His fourth factory halfway done already. <clears throat> and Oxide doesn't even have his third up. That's pretty much how you measure how good your BO is versus your opponent. I mean, at a basic level, just who got factories of faster. So if you're losing early on to spam you probably just are just slower getting your initial factories up and that can cost you map control and it can cost you this reclaim here I usually send an NG a bit sooner than that actually this is pretty quick so this is a huge boost a lot of mass here to be grabbed on both sides and next is actually grabbing all of it pretty insane no engineer sent to middle there's a bit there too Senji won't finish its job, but uh, did great nonetheless. This Senji is going to grab all of it, and yeah, the problem for Nexus is he doesn't seem to have enough power. Oh look, that full mass bar, of course, after all that reclaim. And yeah, we're going to see a lot of T1 spam. And usually, I think sending ACU to the side uh, is not that great here. Because, well, it gives your opponent an option to like come across and try and kill you at any moment if they're in middle. And they can also just have a nice map control in mid, even if there's uh, not many mechs to actually secure there. Better to just kind of try and secure a side with some PD and a few units, <clears throat> in my opinion, and then just fight with your ACU as much as possible in mid and stuff. Next is thrown in a factory in this expansion, and Oxide is sending all of his units. Actually, how many units? Yeah, I think Nexus is dead now. Oxide has spotted him with this air. And all the all of his tanks are going north pretty much, just a few back here. And the ACU is gonna cut off any possible retreat. Nexus has absolutely no support. What is this suicide? Oh my god, Nexus. I mean Commander under attack. Yep. This is this is top level top level play. GG, yeah, sarcastic GG, or a, just a bit of a joke. That is, it's one hell of a suicide. RIP. And yeah, so, like I said, send your AC to mid. Then you can retreat to your base quite easily. So Andres you to the side and you're gonna get exploited sometimes at least. Also T2 mechs is this early. I mean I guess you could do it on this map but 
I think Nexus just didn't have enough factories. He had the factory advantage at the start, but then I think he didn't have enough power to actually use his uh his advantage from the reclaim. And didn't have like you can see he has quite a few less factories than Oxide. So many T1 factories. And then just the ACU positioning. Seal the deal. Complete suicide. <clears throat> The tourney is cursed, is it? You might be right, Heaven. You might... Might be right. Might be wrong too, though. <clears throat> 